so I chase the bucks. Your friends looking like you're changing up. Remember back when I would chase the bus, niggas is racing for short durations, running from their sins. When I was just a kid, running from my pen, people is talking to Tony Hawk, them I swear to ground. What's going on everyone? This is your boy Ash the Man and welcome to the video. In this video we're going to be talking about Jujutsu Kaisen Episode 5 Curse Wound Must Die Part 2. Man, I'm telling you that Curse Wound Part 1 was fire. This one, whew, <laughs> some interesting things going to be happening. But before I go ahead and get started, uh, anybody who's returning to the channel, definitely appreciate you subbing and being part of the family. Anybody who not, don't forget to subscribe to the channel you know it's free and only going to take a click and make sure to hit that notification button i definitely will appreciate the love and the generosity but let's go ahead and start so in the curse moon part two we know that um in the events that was going on it did it definitely left um the new girl hurt um megami pretty much he end up you know kind of like making sure that she gets to safe distance and, and adori pretty much lets so kind of takes over so he can be in there with defeat the special great demon in which he made quick work of now however towards the end of the episode of episode four we noticed that um in the pretty much wasn't able to come back out probably because due to the damage he saved and um at that point his emotions was not in check so yeah he couldn't come out right away, so uh, so kind of had this plan of pretty much killing Megami because of the fact that you know, well, it would kind of piss off Inanori. <laughs> He's a demon afterwards, you know. He got to have some excitement. So their battle was interesting, like well, not that interesting. Pretty much, Sukana was beating the shit out of him, knocked him through buildings. My man couldn't really do anything. So his whole focus in this battle was trying to get Inanori to come out, but um. So kind of had this plan that he wouldn't want him to do that if he was to rip out Inanori's heart. And he did set it down so when Inanori comes back, he pretty much would just die. And that's exactly what happened. Inanori pretty much heard that Mugami was calling out to him. He ended up coming out and he ended up passing away. So the person who they hinted off would die in this episode with Inanori and that is right. But I don't think he's going to be forever dead. And it's just too obvious because one of the things that Sukana said is that this fool was crazy not to make a pact with him. So in, so in the long run, he's going to have to make a pact with Sukana to be able to come back in the, you know, in the land of the living. I mean, the um, other, you know, exorcists pretty much said that, you know, they don't think that that's the end to Inanori, or at least who I think is exorcist or maybe some type of villain, but he pretty much hinted that off. And that pretty much sums up this episode. I mean, we got a chance to see a really good fight, a great ending to this two-part episode. In the next episode, we're going to see Inanori pretty much make that comeback, in which that's going to put it, um, I think, a quarter of a way because we here with Jujutsu uh, Kaisen for 24 episodes. So, yeah, let's go ahead and bring my mans back because we need to see some more of that goodness. And I can't wait to see how they're going to do this pack and see what kind of pack they're going to need to make. But it's definitely going to be interesting. So, overall, good episode. I have no complaints. Um, the only thing is, is that, man, it, it really focused on just, like, so many people that introduces new faces that we really can't, like, solely put a name to. If you read the manga, you probably know. But as of right now, we just know that Inanori is going to be making this appearance back either the next episode or the episode after. So, let's just sit in our seats and be patient. And hopefully, we can get some other development for other characters. So, again, thank you guys for definitely tuning in to this. Don't forget, um, leave a comment below what you guys think about the episode. Also, the review and hit, and hit that like button. Smash it out um, as much likes as possible so big videos can get more exposure. I definitely appreciate that. Other than that, your boy Ashton Man is out. Peace.